Hi and welcome back to the ultimateappmaker.com. In this video here I want to show you I want to talk to you guys and show you how to use geofences. Okay? What we're going to do first, we're going to go right to the app builder here and we're going to go to any of these apps. We go through with the fast food test we've been working on this whole time. Okay? And so in the dashboard the app dashboard, what you're going to do is scroll down. Okay? And you're going to see geofences. Now, why geofences is such a great tool is that it actually allows you to uh, automatically or send a post note or push notification to somebody that enters in a specific area. So let's say you're doing a, a tourist out for New York, okay? And you, tourist app, you want to highlight some of the important things that are on New York. You can actually set up geofences so if they, somebody drives by that location, they actually get a push notification right away. So if you've got any advertisers that are advertising in your app, or if you even do a, a business app for your business or somebody else's business, you can actually target certain specific locations inside of a, a city where people actually get these push notifications. They're great for t uh, travel apps. They're great for any type of directory app. Any, they're great for small business apps. Anyways, this is what we're going to do here. We're going to set this up. So the first thing we're going to do is check enable geofences. Okay. And the important message here is we want to keep the radiuses above 150 meters or 500 feet. And uh, I, I don't like to make them too big because then you're actually, again, it says here, duplicating coordinates. So let's say you do 1,000 meters that you want to, that's how big of a, a geofence you want to set up. And then, you know, I got a couple blocks over, you want to do another one. It's going to have a com conflict and they're going to send two, geo, or, you know, two notifications at once. So um, to avoid any complications, try not to overlap your locations. So first thing we're going to go, going to scroll down here, and we're going to hit add, okay? And we're just going to ask for latitude, longitude, and radius. So first thing we do is hit edit, and uh, we could just type in New York. Okay, and it works on Google Maps. So if you actually know uh, if a certain business you want to have in here, you can actually set it up, or a certain intersection in New York, you can put the street addresses here, you know, 100th Street and 100th Avenue in New York, and you're good to go. Okay, so then we can just zoom in here a little bit. And let's do 500 meters. Okay, so there we go. So this is where it's going to be set up. This is where it you know, says New York is a central. But again, we can move this anywhere here. If we want it there, we can put it there. Or if you know the exact business address, put it in here. Like I said, it works off Google Maps, so it'll pull it off Google Maps. But let's just go ahead, set this up here. And now let's like, actually, let's go back here. This is where if anybody that goes, is driving along Broadway here, and they once they hit this radius, they're going to be sent that push notification automatically. So you can see how powerful this is, is if you're advertising for a certain business. Let's say you're driving in from a certain area and you're coming into New York City. You can set up push notifications at certain uh, roadways where people get those push notifications for a certain business in the city. And it's, like I said, it's great for advertising. Okay, so we'll hit OK here. And you, all you're going to do is just type the message here. Okay, and you know, you could do anything 40% off this. Uh, you know, here's an important landmark. Here's uh, make sure you check out this hotel. You know, there's a, a special pizza place over here. You know, whatever push notification you want to send out, again, this is going to be automatic. Anytime someone goes in that radius, it's going to be, be sent there. And then we just hit this. We could just do, uh, I guess, Geofence 1 is good for this example. Hit save. And you'll see that it's right here. If we want to add another one, just hit another one. And you'll see it just goes down the list. Geofence 1, Geofence 2. And you do it the same way. And we can again hit save changes. And then uh, hit done at the top right here. Take you back to your app. Again, if you have any questions, feel free to hit us up on support. Send us a support ticket. We'll be more than happy to answer any questions you have. Uh, otherwise, uh, thanks for watching this video. We'll see you in the next one.